our children and families don't always take advantage of the federal uh, food programs, nutrition programs. School breakfast is one that has been around for a long time, but that doesn't have anywhere near as much enrollment as um, the the. School, school lunch. They just don't eat at breakfast like they do lunch. What we have found is if we move it into the classroom or take it out of the cafeteria and give them a, a grab-and-go kind of breakfast, they're much more likely to participate. And that's what first-class breakfast is supposed to do. Um, and of course it's the nutrition and it's you know uh, doing better in school, not having a headache, not having a stomach ache, not having to go to the nurse, um, doing better with being able to learn because you cannot learn if your stomach is growling at you. And, and so the, uh, the, the grab-and-go breakfast, um, which is one of the alternative, alternative uh, delivery models that has been put in place um, to try to confront some of the barriers to participation, um, <clears throat> many schools operate a traditional cafeteria model, um, but on account of um, you know early morning schedules, um, a dependency on bus transportation, um, or strictly a preference for socializing or uh, engaging in other morning activities, a lot of students end up um, missing out on that breakfast that is available. Um, particularly, the grab and go breakfast uh, is an alternative model that's been developed to address um, some of these concerns for elementary schools. Uh, for elementary age, um, age students. Um, there have been other alternative models that have been put in place for upper level schools, so for middle schools or high schools, something referred to as a, a second chance uh, option, which is particularly appealing for um, older students. It allows them an opportunity to um, you know, approach a mobile kiosk uh, that could be set up between first and second hour, for instance. Um, <coughs> and has um, ultimately been pretty effective in reaching some of those students who, who aren't able to access that breakfast um, right away on account of it being offered prior to the start of the school day. So one of the big um, focuses of this initiative, First Class Breakfast, is to ensure that breakfast is something that's scheduled into the school day and uh, uh, has really boosted participation uh, for, for those students who we've been working directly with.